are you? Where did you come from? I'm your son and I've come from the future. Cut! <laughs> this is gonna be the best science film ever! Great you mean way. science fiction. No, science, because one day all of this is gonna be possible. Okay, take five everyone. Hey, that's my job. No, your job is to get the scientific facts straight. Come with me. Well, uh... <sighs> okay, let's start right here. Time travel? Impossible. So far? Forever, actually. Don't you know Einstein's theory of spatial relativity? Don't you know? Speed is distance divided by time. How fast something moves is simply a measurement of how it's moved in three-dimensional space, measured in height, width, and depth over an amount of time. But notice that time is not something that can be traveled through. It's not part of a physical dimension. But... Light speed. If we can travel faster than the speed of light, then all the laws of physics could break down. And beyond that, nobody really knows. Light travels at 299,792 kilometers per second, and moving anything with any amount of mass at that rate would require infinite energy or zero mass. I don't have that many energy drinks. And you certainly don't have that little mass. True. Wait, what? This is perfect! Not exactly. Okay. Here's another one, the ability to fly. Like Superman! Yeah, like that. Aside from special effects, it's nonsense. But it's so cool! Yeah, and it's possible if we had enough surface area and lift, but we're just not built that way. You need wings. Well, these are girly! Yep. Birds and planes fly because air moves above and below the wings, with the flow of moving air below the wings exerting more pressure than the fast moving air above them, which causes lift. Birds have wings to create a thrust. Meanwhile, planes have engines and jets. You, you need to take those off. So what if we evolve and grow wings one day? Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, beaming. Yeah, you know, transporting a person from one place to another instantaneously is gonna be so cool one day. Yeah, if you like scrambled eggs. Uh... Because that's how we're all gonna look if we try to beam ourselves. We'd be committing suicide if we tried. Beaming requires that every particle in your body is disassembled and then reassembled in a remote place perfectly and instantaneously. Ow! Yeah, imagine that times 10,000. And that doesn't even account for technical errors. Errors? Imagine losing a file, or an email, or just mistyping something, except those mistakes mean that your body isn't put together again properly. Or how would you like to see this? During your transport. Oh my gosh, I did it, I did it! No silly, I moved it. Uh, what, why would you do that to me? Cytokinesis, from the Greek words for mind and motion, is the ability to control external matter with your mind. And while it's a cool fantasy, it's totally implausible. Nope, I believe in the force. Well, if the force does exist, it's extremely weak. Your brain operates with over 100 billion neurons that communicate through electric pulses. And while these pulses technically have an effect on both your inner body and the worlds around you, scientists have never been able to quantify such an effect on any physical object. What are you doing? Something you should have done a long time ago. I support what I said earlier. I just want you to see the difference between science fiction and what real science is. These movies use special effects so seamlessly that it creates an illusion of real science in some cases. Here, a completely revised script with everything scientifically accurate. Fine, now can I get back to shooting my movie? No problem. All right, everybody, let's get back to shooting this movie. Hey, where's my zombie? Yeah, I fired him. What? Why? Zombies are impossible. No, they're not. Okay, take five, everyone. 